Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so today's bath bomb demo comes from Georgia Charms Cosmetics, and this is another one of her 40 ounce bath bombs. It's two and a half pounds. It's just, it's absolutely enormous. And this one is called Mother of Mermaids. And I did her other one. The first one she came out with was called Mother of Unicorns. And it was pink and blue and yellow. And it was just, it was awesome. It was an awesome show in my tub. And it smelled really good. And I said if she ever came out with another one in another color or another scent, I would happily do it again. And so she has. And so this one is scented in coconut and vanilla, and I have to say that this scent is awesome. I really, this is my favorite scent that I've had of hers so far. So I cannot wait to get it in the water and see what it looks like. I think it's going to be an awesome show. I love, love these colors. So, um, oh okay, let's get it in the water. Let's see what it looks like. I cannot wait. It's so heavy. Oh my goodness. And I will probably pick this up a couple of times like I did the last one. Because it was just fun, honestly. <laughs> so cool. I'm so glad that she did another one of these. And I think she has a really big tub too herself, Nicole, the owner of the company. So it makes me wonder if she was like, hmm, I'm gonna try and make another, a big bath bomb for myself because it'd be really cool to see in my own tub. It makes me wonder if that's kind of where she got this from. Cause I had thought the same thing myself. I need a bigger bath bomb for my tub. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, my goodness, it's still huge. And it's still perfectly round almost. Okay. Let's let it go back in there. And just keep going and going and going. Those colors are so bright and pretty. I love the cool color scheme. Where'd it go? Okay, it's going up. <laughs> it's hard to see through all that foam. And I'm looking through my camera, so it's hard for me to tell anyway. I see it on the move over here. I lost it. I can't see it. I hear it. All right. So I had to grab this little guy again and check him out. This one isn't dissolving quite the same way as the other one did. I think that's interesting. It's actually, I think it's lasting a little bit longer. These colors are so pretty. I don't want to just hold it, but I don't think we're going to be able to see anything because there's so much foam on top of the water now.
And that foam is so, so pretty. Okay, so I fished around a little bit to see if we had anything left. And the little guy, he just disappeared underneath the foam, but I think he's gone. And um, so let's go ahead and check out the color of the water. I'm very interested to see what color it turned. Okay, so it looks like it's a really pretty teal, which I love. That's really, really pretty. And I can't tell if it's got any sparkle in it. I want to say that it may not have, but I just absolutely can't tell until I get in. So, and it is actually daytime. I just have my shade drawn. Ooh, no, no, no. I think, I think I may see sparkle in there. So, I will just let you know when, um, when I get out. But let's go ahead and check the bubbles. Because I'm sure this is going to have a lot of bubbles. I'm not going to let this run too long because I don't want to overflow my tub with bubbles. Because I kind of anticipated that this would be a big bubbler. When I reached my hand in the water to check the watercolor, it seemed very moisturizing. So I'll give you a report on that as well when I'm done. Okay, so yeah, if you get this, you're probably going to be able to agitate your water and get plenty of bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these jets off and I'll talk to you in a minute and tell you how my bath was. Okay, so the water is more of an aqua now that I opened my window, but it does have that perfect little shimmer in it. Okay guys, so I'm done with my Mother of Mermaid's bath and there is some pigment, a little bit of pigment and luster left down in the bottom of my tub and it was the teeny tiny luster, the kind that I really like. Um, so I think that this Mother of Mermaids and the Mother of Unicorns are definitely two different recipes. The Mother of Unicorns left more of a creamy bath art kind of foam on top of my water and this one was definitely more of a fizzer, like a big fizzy foam kind of situation and this one I think was much more moisturizing so um, you can also tell that there's hardly any cleanup in my tub from this bath bomb so they may look very much the same but as far as I can tell I think they may be two different recipes so I find that very very interesting I also love the scent of this bath bomb and the color of the water was really really pretty so um yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one, and all of her links will be listed down below, so go ahead and check her out. She is an Etsy shop, and as always, I thank you guys for watching, and if you have anything to ask me or anything to say about this or talk to me about this shop, if you have had any of her bombs, just go ahead and mention it down in the comments, and I guess I'll just see you back here for the next demo. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.